quick tip. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Woo! Just click the link below. Grouping objects in Illustrator allows you to select and move just those art elements that you want. Here, the onions and the leaves are all grouped and the carrots and its stems are. If I wanted to put these back to where they were, I would just hit Control Z to undo that. Edit Undo or Control Z is your friend. So here, if I wanted to group all of these elements together, I first begin with selecting those items that I want to group. If I wanted to select all of these, I could just click and drag over the objects with my selection or black arrow. Now that they're all selected, I'd come up to Object and select Group or Control G. Control G is one of those shortcuts that you might want to commit to memory as you'll use it all the time. Don't forget to download my Illustrator cheat sheet with all my favorite shortcuts. So once you have objects grouped, they will move as one. You can make any modification to these and it will be done to all of the objects that are now grouped. If you didn't want all of these objects grouped, you choose Object, Ungroup, or Command Shift G. Now, the original objects that I had grouped remain. So interestingly, if you have objects that you've already grouped, here the highlight, the stem, and the pepper color itself, it will stay as one until you ungroup it. I had grouped objects that they themselves were already grouped. So when you ungroup the first, it doesn't undo your original grouping. Here, if I wanted to select just the leaves of the onion, I would have to ungroup those elements. If I click off now to deselect my selection, now I'm able to select just the leaves. So in this way, if you have objects that you've grouped, or if you're picking up artwork and you're not sure if an object is grouped, you want to select it first, then come up to Object. If Group or Ungroup is grayed out, then that's an indicator. Here, Ungroup is not grayed out, it's active. So that tells me these elements are grouped, that I could now ungroup. Clicking off to deselect, I'm able to select just that which I wanted to. The only other way to select just a portion of something that's been grouped, if you don't want to ungroup it, would be to use the direct selection tool or white arrow. When you select it with the white arrow, now elements can be separated from the whole. Yet, when I select it with my black arrow, it's still grouped. So that's how you group and ungroup objects in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.